because it's a newer feature that's actually pretty cool and it may be, you know, do exactly what you guys want. So what you want to do first of all with the iMovie method, which I'll show you first, is to make sure that you have both those videos saved on your device. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and say I want this video, whatever this video was, and I'll go ahead and want it to combine it with this video as well. I think it was like some flash thing I did or whatever it was. So let's say I wanted to combine both those videos. As long as you have those videos on your iPhone and you're set, what you want to do is you want to hop out of here and you will want to load into your iMovie app. So if you don't have it installed, go ahead and install it. It won't take too long. It'll take like 30 seconds. So as you can see, you have the iMovie app right here. You want to go ahead and open it up once you have it opened up. Okay, if you don't have it, again, wait until you have it installed and everything. And then you want to go ahead and make a new project. So you want to go ahead and click this plus button right here. You want to go ahead and click movie. And it's going to ask you to install or, you know, select any two videos or any video for that matter. So here you can go ahead and actually select both those videos that you want. So let's say I wanted to, you know, have this video as well as, you know, the other video that I wanted, I'll go and combine back. I think I said I wanted this one, so I'll go ahead and click this one, and you can go ahead and click Create Movie, and what'll happen is, is that it'll automatically already combine both those videos for me. As you can see, it'll combine, there's the first one, and then here's the second one, and then you're pretty much done. But let's say you accidentally only selected one video, so I'll go ahead and delete this one. Well, in this case, if you have your one video right here, all you have to do is go ahead and click this plus button right here, so go ahead and click plus, and then from here, all you have to do is click video, which is right there, and then click all, and it'll go ahead and find all the videos on your iPhone. So it's a little confusing, but as you can see, it separates it by date. So from here, all you have to do is, let's say I wanted to go back, and let's say I wanted to use this video. Well, I would go ahead and click this video. I would go ahead and click the plus button right here, and I'll go ahead and add that video right there. So as you can see, it combined both those videos right here. And if I go to the beginning, there you go. And it'll just a seamless transition back and forth. Now at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and click the little share button, which is after you click the done button up here, there's a little share button. So all you have to do is click share and you have to click save video. And you can see that it'll go ahead and save this video onto your iPhone. So I think it takes a second for it to actually export or whatever. And then a little pop-up will eventually come up saying which way do you want to save it as. So go and click it again and you will see, and you can go and save it as HD. I'll go ahead and save it as HD, but you typically want to do full HD. And you will see that the video is now saved and we can go into our photo library which is right here and the video should be all the way down here if we go and click here you will see that the video is now fully working as you can see so that's exactly how you do it in this case